There are easy ways to fix a leaky hose faucet. Today on Brew Builds, I'll show you how to repair or replace a hose bib that has been leaking. You ready? Let's do this. I noticed this faucet leaking the other day. I just can't seem to shut it off completely. So I'm gonna take apart and repair this faucet, which is also called a hose bib, to get it to stop leaking. And then at the end, I'll show you how to replace an old hose bib with a new one. Tools and items needed. A new hose bib, Teflon tape, valve stem rubber washers, a pipe wrench, an adjustable wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. There are a few different options for fixing a leaky hose bib. You could replace the entire hose bib or try fixing the part that is just leaking. Either option is fairly easy. It depends somewhat on how much time you have to fiddle with it or just spend a little more money and get the job done. You will need to leave the water shut off until you get the job completed. So unless you have a good supply of little valve stem washers and you find yourself running to the hardware store to find the washer that fits your valve, it might make more sense just to replace the entire hose bib. On the brew scale, technical ability I rate as a beginner. As long as you know how to adjust the wrench, you'll be fine. Physical ability I rate as easy. It just takes a little muscle to loosen and tighten the hose bib. The first thing you'll need to do is shut the water off that goes to the hose bib. Most likely that would be the main water line where the water comes into your house. Once you have the water shut off, check to make sure there's no pressure at the hose bib. You will still have water in the line so it will drain out. The pressure should go down as it drains though. It's a good idea to leave the water hose attached to avoid your work area from getting too wet. Once the pipe is drained, then remove the water hose. I'm going to show you the repair option first on a valve of this type. This one doesn't shut off completely like I said and the water does slowly leak out. So I'm going to take it apart and take a look at the valve. At the bottom of the valve is a rubber seal and that's probably what is damaged or just not working any further. So hopefully I have a new rubber washer in my kit and I'll be able to replace it and get this faucet fixed. You need to remove the valve stem out of the hose bib. On some hose bibs, you remove the valve by loosening the packing nut, which is right under the hose bib handle. On this hose bib, the whole valve assembly is removed as one piece, loosening it here. So grab your adjustable wrench and get a good tight fit on the valve body, then turn it counterclockwise. Once it is loosened, you should be able to remove it by hand. Here is the valve assembly. If this rubber washer is worn out and damaged, that would cause the water to leak out. In some cases, you may just need to clean it off, removing any grit or water deposits. The seal doesn't look too damaged. I don't see any tears and it hasn't really hardened yet, so I'm going to go check my plumbing kits to see if I have a rubber seal like this. Looks like I found one that will work. It's not exactly the same, so before I replace it, I'm going to clean this off, put it back in and see if that fixes the problem. Sometimes just cleaning the valve stem off will fix it removing any corrosion or grit the best that you can. If you have some thread sealant, put a little on the threads here. Have the valve in the open position before installing it. Get the valve hand tight first, then use a wrench. Turn the handle to shut off the valve completely. Then you can turn the water main valve back on and check that the valve is not leaking and is working. Okay, no valve stem assembly leaks. Now for the test. Will it shut off? Well, <laughs> looks like cleaning it actually did the job. So I could say, job done, hit that like button and subscribe. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the valve back out and show you how to replace the seal. Put it back together and then once that's done I'll actually remove the entire hose bib and show you how to install a new one. Once you've taken the valve out, remove the screw at the bottom of the valve that holds on the seal. 
it may take a little effort to get the seal to pop off the valve stem. Right, replace the seal with your new one and then reattach the screw. Then insert the valve back into the hose bib. Another place your hose bib can leak is at the handle when you turn the water on. This is caused by the packing nut not being tight enough, so if your valve is leaking here, just tighten the packing nut until it stops leaking. Well, I'm trying to get it to leak for you. Oh well, let me tighten it back up. If it's tight and still leaking, you might as well just replace the whole valve. So with that, I purchased a new hose bib and I decided to go with a quarter turn type. Make sure you get a frost free one if you live in an area that freezes. We don't have that problem here. Most hose bibs will be half inch or three quarter inch in size, multi-turn or quarter turn, with a few different mounting options. There are male or female threaded types, solder on types, or a shark bite type. Some will also have a flange so it can be mounted to a wall. So take a close look at your old one before you purchase a new hose bib. This type of valve is something you might find more used for a washing machine, but in some ways I prefer this type over the ones that need to be turned a lot to open. To remove the hose bib, you want to use a pipe wrench to hold on to the pipe that the hose bib is attached to. Put the pipe wrench around the pipe stub or nut depending on what type of fittings are being used. You'll be using this pipe wrench to hold the pipes from twisting. Then use the adjustable wrench to turn the valve counterclockwise to loosen it. Get the wrench as tight as possible around the nut part of the hose bib body. In the rare case that there is no nut, then use the wrench around the outlet part of the hose bib. Be careful not to stress any of the other plumbing when loosening the hose bib. You don't want to add any other repairs into this project. Once it is loose, remove the hose bib with your hand. As you can see, there's still a bit of water draining out of the pipes. Comparing these two types of hose bibs. This one is a ball valve type and it just takes a quarter turn to fully open. It has a Teflon seal and a stainless steel shutoff ball, so much more durable and should last a very long time. But you can't really service these. This older type has a compression type valve that can be serviced, but also restricts the water flow more than the ball valve type. Let's get this ball valve installed, but before I do, why don't you hit that like button for me and subscribe to Brew Builds. That way you don't miss any new videos that I upload. Clean the pipe threads and remove any old sealant or tape. Once the pipe is clean, wrap some new Teflon tape around the pipe threads, going in the same direction as the pipe threads or as if you're putting on a nut. Overlapping slightly each time you go around the pipe. Then attach the hose bib with your hand, turning in a clockwise rotation. Once you have it hand tight, use your two wrenches to tighten the hose bib. Make sure you have the pipe wrench in the proper direction to keep the pipe from twisting. You want the handle of the hose bib pointing up, so you need to judge how tight it already is and if you can get in another complete rotation. It's getting pretty tight, so I'll stop it here at the top. All right, that's it. Make sure that your valve is in the off position and then turn on your main water line. I like to turn it on just slightly and then check for leaks. If everything looks good, go ahead and crack open the hose bib to let the air out of the lines. Then turn it back off and open up the main valve all the way. Then check for leaks one more time. Alright, looks good. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something about hose bibs. If you don't like the location of your hose bib on your house, 
Check out this video here of how to move a garden hose faucet. Now, don't be alarmed if a little bit of air comes out of your pipes inside the house when you turn on your sink or shower. All right, that's enough time spent on repairs. I wanna go build something. <laughs>